To the Jewish community, I'm sorry if you think I've been treating you unfairly, but I'm more sorry if you do not understand why I have to tell the truth about everything and everyone is made to look bad. The people have even fumed and poisoned me to make me look bad. What is going on is unforgivably evil. And for some reason, everyone else doesn't understand that you're better off dying for righteousness sake and seeking justice with moral precision and asking yourself, am I precise enough all the time? Nobody seems to understand that God is greater than everything that is presented here. And God wants you to go up and not down. God wants you to conform to righteousness and moral precision and not to the world. God wants you to have true love derived from justice. Truly, I tell you, you are better off packing up your things with your family, rallying to me, okay, and living only two more years and being screened out with me if you're going to die of coronavirus or whatever might, however, whatever might happen to you. I live in 20 years, a lot less rich than you would otherwise, than to be the richest person in the world, okay? No matter what you think, that is the case, I assure you. It's one of the things I'm the most certain of. Righteousness. My life is more fulfilling than Bezos and Elon Musk. Even though I'm made to look bad, blinded, kept from water. The more sin you've done, the more reason you have to conceive my point. Don't you want that weight whisked off your shoulder? Don't you want that pain removed from your heart? Don't you want me to wipe away your tears on the true spirit of God? Don't you want me to deliver you to God with your family? Don't you want to be persecuted for righteousness sake and say every moment know that that's what you're doing? Be proud of yourself, to be proud of your families, be proud of your marriage, proud of your children? Isn't it time to put on the full honor of God and go to war, to rally and face adversity? Why is it so important to continue your family lines in this world? Why not continue with me and God Almighty? Why not let God allow you to triumph and overcome the world? Come to me. Come to me like chickens to the hen. Come to me like bees to honey. Come to me like the righteous warriors to a mighty warrior king. Come to me. And like Sodom and Gomorrah, don't look back. Don't look back at how life, uh, at, at the lust you had before, the desires you had before. Desire righteousness, thirst for righteousness. So therefore, you can have the kingdom of heaven. Not this corrupt planet that doesn't love you. They don't love you. They're not going to love your descendants. I will. God Almighty will. And psychology is not enough. True love, justice, righteousness, grace, the moral warrior spirit. You don't have to, to hit harder than Tyson to be a great warrior. You don't have to shoot better than the, the top of sniper in the world. You have to have heart. When the Lord weighs your heart, what will he find? Come to me and let us triumph together.